Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mind, and I've finally played some Battlefield 4, the beta. And um, I've been playing it, uh, well, for around two hours now, about one hour. And uh, I wish I could play it a little bit more. Um, I was supposed to play it this morning, but turns out I had stuff to do which, uh, which had my priority. Uh, weird enough, because it's just Battlefield 4. But uh, yeah, so I haven't been playing uh, as much as I would have liked to. So uh, my first impressions about Battlefield 4. You have to keep in mind that this is a beta. And uh, that is actually the first thing I want to say about it. It is definitely a beta. Um, the servers are not that, uh, you know, the servers are not running completely like uh, like they should. Uh, you know, you you dying after, uh, you know, after being, after shooting at someone for a lot and then suddenly all the bullets hit you and stuff like that. But that is all normal. That is part of a beta. That is not what a beta is about. Um, there's some some minor glitches and stuff, and I think the most uh, the most important thing to mention, uh, if there's anything uh, negative about the beta, is that uh, if you're playing on PC, you need to have special beta drivers, which you can download from the Nvidia uh, from your Nvidia page. I'll put the link down below in the description. And if you don't have those uh, if you don't have those drivers installed, basically you're gonna get frame rate drops all the time. You're gonna see that in the video, and you know halfway through, I finally figured out, hey. Let's download these uh, drivers first because, uh, you know, it's not running as smoothly as I wanted to. And I've been running everything on low, so why isn't it working completely? And uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. But now I fixed it. You know, I download those drivers. It's really important. And, uh, you know, it's time to actually, uh, you know, talk a little bit about the game itself. The game itself, it's so fucking awesome. It's, it's such an improvement from Battlefield 3, even in beta. Um, especially when you're playing at the, because for some reason the extra wasn't working for me, so I had to use fraps and play in 30 FPS, which is not ideal. Um, but you know, I've been playing with Glassy and uh, Speedbreaker and uh, Choppy as well a little bit, and um, you know, I've been playing with those guys. Those guys have played for way longer today. And, uh, you know, they've seemed to uh, hit it off. They seem to know exactly what they're doing. They are doing way better than I do. And I'm, I'm still trying to figure out stuff, you know, figure out what to do, what to do, and, you know, which, uh, you know, f trying guns and see what this corner is about and see how the map works and, you know, how that building collapses, which uh, seems to happen actually every single game, which is fine. You know, I'm cool with that. Uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, but it shouldn't, you know, come at a cost of FPS. But, you know, again, that's all beta stuff which uh, DICE has to best work on and do their magic and um, yeah I think the game of Siege of Shanghai, uh, the map sorry the Siege of, Siege of Shanghai is really cool uh, I like the dynamic with like one huge bridge which you can go across um, over the water and you can actually go under it as well there's a, like a two-story bridge so uh, there's not specifically you don't have to run on top which um, makes you very vulnerable to sniper fire and you know there's tanks in the tanks in the conquest and you know the, the stiff stuff is going on you don't want to be running on, on the on top of the on top of the bridge that would be kind of bad so yeah they put uh, like a second uh, story under it and i think that's uh, i think that's pretty cool um yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it's so dynamic. The levolution stuff, uh, the map completely changes after that building goes down. Visibility goes down massively, and um, you know you don't have that vantage point in the middle of the map anymore, which um, which I will show a little bit uh, about that in the gameplay as well. You know the vantage point. You can sit up there. You can go up with the lifts. Uh, I haven't done that personally because I just spawn up there uh, from now. And, uh, you know, you can just uh, look down and you can parachute down. And it's actually a really, really valid, you know, solid point um, to get down. And, uh, no, sorry, to get up and see where, where you need to go. I haven't, uh, I haven't tried the commander stuff yet. I will definitely post a separate video about that. So tell you all about this stuff. Again, I will tell you loads of information in the upcoming days, weeks, about the uh, Battlefield 4 beta, about all the stuff, about every single weapon. Uh, talking about weapons, they are amazing. The sound has definitely improved in Battlefield 4. Um, you know, just sitting there with the headset, you know, and just feeling that bass. And even in, like, the bass, like, you normally when you shoot a rifle, um, you, you, you kind of hear, like, a which is really high. And there's not really bass in it, but it doesn't feel like, like it's kind of punchy. But once you actually, you know, put it on the headphone settings and just pull the trigger, and you hear, like, doo -doo -doo, which is a really heavy bass and I, I i'm really excited about that you know it's it's just it's those tiny little things and you know even the, even now the, the the tank around flying over your head is so much more immersive so much more epic than it was in battlefield 3 and i i really think dice hit it out the park with what uh, when it comes to sound 
in the beta. And, uh, you know, I wish I could play uh, more maps, uh, you know, see uh, whatever, uh, uh, which map is different and um, how some vehicles are overpowered or not overpowered. I haven't flown in any helicopters yet. I sit, I've sat in a tank as a gunner, which is kind of cool because it, that also, you know, is a little bit more punch after it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's. I really like it. I really like it. I enjoy it more than Battlefield 3, which is obvious because you know I haven't played Battlefield 4 before. Ha! See what I did there. But uh, I must have to say that this is still a beta. I can't wait for the full game to release because there is some still you know so, some some nooks and crannies which are um, which are not really not really ideal. Uh, when it comes to, you know, the game I expected it to be. Again, I know that this is the beta, but, uh, you know, when it ever gets there, I need stuff to go fluently. Uh, I don't even care if they say, all right, 29th of October, we're not going to make it, we're going to postpone it for half a month. I would be cool with that, you know, to make everything perfectly. I'm sure DICE will, will be fine, you know, DICE is such a huge company with EA. They will be, they are doing this stuff for so long, they know exactly what they're doing. Um, but now back to the weapons, for instance, you know, at the uh, the assault rifle, uh, you can also in the beta you have basically one primary rifle you can use per class, and uh, you know I've been playing with the assault, uh, which I like really a lot, uh, which I like a lot. Um, the recon is actually my favorite, the sniper rifle. Uh, I'll show some gameplay of that as well. This probably is playing right now. I'm not even sure, and um, um, it, it it works really good. Um, there's also I haven't messed around with the uh, with the uh, in scope sensitivity at all because I'm actually quite quite happy with the way it is right now and I don't and I, the speedbreaker was talking to me uh, in game uh, about how he didn't really like it so he, I think he has been messing with it a little bit which is fine um, but I don't know I I just wanted to leave it the way it is um, leave it like you know I can really play the vanilla. Of Battlefield 4 beta, so I'm not gonna fix uh, mess with all that stuff. You know, I just put the graphics on low and see how much FPS I got. I do have to say that for the people that are barely running BF3, um, BF4 is going to be an issue. There's just more rendering power required for Battlefield 4 than Battlefield 3. It is that simple. And you know, getting those drivers are paramount. If you don't download those drivers. You're gonna have a bad time, is what the meme would say, because you know it's 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 gonna keep dropping your FPS, and you know Speedbreaker was actually talking to me about well he actually said it in a chat, saying that my that his FPS was terrible, and he has like a 680 I think, which is which is a beast graphics card, and I have a 660, so uh, as you can imagine, um, the drivers the drivers do a lot. If you haven't downloaded the drivers, I've, I I actually had like FPS spikes that went down or valleys, I guess you would call them, and it went down to about 8 FPS, and then goes back up and back down, and it wasn't it wasn't playable at all with that nonsense, and that's why, you know, download those drivers, otherwise, you just don't bother. Um, I haven't played it on Xbox 360 yet, I will sure, will make sure to download that, you know, see, uh, see what is the difference, of course, it's gonna be a huge difference, but at first, um, I want to play more Battlefield 4 because I, before I go into any deep judgment. But my first thoughts, my third, and my first, uh, uh, my first, you know, impressions are: it is really, really fucking awesome, and you should definitely download it if you can. Um, if the if you don't have any Battlefield 3 Premium or any of that stuff, if you don't have access to the beta as it is right now, just wait for the 4th of October. Download it, play it. You know, give your if give your feedback to Dice because uh, you know we want the best game it can be. And um, yeah, any other stuff? Uh, again, I will say I will post so many videos about all of the separate things about the Battlefield beta. And uh, but for now, this is these are my first thoughts. This is my first impressions. I hope uh, you're satisfied with them. I will see if I will make sure. I'll try to make uh, a video for tomorrow to see uh, about uh, you know something a little bit about the map or something about the weapons. Who even who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button, and uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Later.